What's up everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Enter the Gungeon with Dog and Pony. I'm Dog and Pony and this is Enter the Gungeon. We're playing as the pilot today. Not my favorite character, but I guess not my least favorite either. Or is he? He does get discounts in the store, which is nice. I think the hunter is my favorite character at this point. It was the marine for a while, but I really like the hunter and her dog and I feel like you get more loot. I think that's I think that's like the point of the dog. It increases your chances of getting loot from the end of a room. Or even gives you a random chance at getting additional loot on top of whatever loot you get from the room. I, I'm not too sure about that. That was a nice dodge. Probably a situation I shouldn't have been in to have to dodge to begin with, but a nice dodge. After this room I gotta like Oof. I'm like sitting in a very uncomfortable position right now and I gotta adjust it. I'm not gonna say that that's why I got hit, but you know it could have been. Don't, don't completely discount the possibility. Okay, this is this is rough. This is really rough. Bad start. Really bad start. And I apologize. No, I don't. It happens. You know. But if I do get hit again within the next room or two. I see no reason not to do a quick restart. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, let me fix the way I'm sitting and take a drink of this tea here. Went with tea instead of coffee this morning because we didn't have any half and half. And I love coffee with half and half. And I'm just okay with coffee without half and half. If you drink your coffee with cream by which I mean for, for most people when you say cream in your coffee you mean milk half and half is tons better just give it a shot um, just trust me on this one you you're, you'll never go back if you don't want to buy a large container of half and half go to a diner they almost always have half and half in those little packets. Of course, the best thing, the most delicious thing to put into your coffee is heavy cream. But that is extremely unhealthy. So half and half. It, it's the best of both worlds. It's not it's not that many calories and it, it kind of gives you a little bit of a... like it, it fills you up a little bit. Um, it's like eating a small meal so you can decrease the amount of breakfast you eat. It's not unhealthy to eat it either. I drink it, I guess. I'm not going to give you nutritional lessons here because I am by no means an expert on nutrition. I did take an online nutrition class while I was in college. But, you know, that like intro intro to modern nutrition doesn't make me an expert on uh, eating. It doesn't give me the right to tell you how to how to modify your diet but enjoying half and half gives me the right to recommend half and half to everyone I'm gonna stop talking about it now I'm having tea today I'm having chai tea it's my favorite kind of tea and it is delicious I made we got an ice cream maker um, it's the it's the ice the, the KitchenAid ice cream maker attachment and I made chai tea, which I brewed with, actually, I think it was like mostly half and half and then like slightly diluted with just whole milk. And I brewed, wow, I bet there's going to be something great in here. All right. Vulcan Cannon Boundless Slaughter. Looks like it holds 880 ammo I mean obviously it does and it looks like it never needs to reload either it's like a minigun sort of deal and it looks amazing I am excited about this and we got some armor as well I don't know if I even mentioned that in my discussion about all the tea and coffee should probably talk about the game itself more but if you're watching the video you're seeing what I'm doing I don't know we're gonna remain and we're gonna fight all these waves of enemies this is amazing anyway yes yeah, so I brewed a big ol' um, 
pot of chai with milk and cream and I uh, in instead of water and then we made ice cream out of it and it was so good I would recommend it a lot of sugar in it too like not I'd say it was lower sugar than most ice cream you buy in a store but it, you know you gotta sweeten it up a little bit I, I uh, definitely a higher amount of sugar than I would put into a cup of chai and I do drink my tea with sugar I, I'm not quite to a point where I could drink just black tea yet I, I I'm not that I'm not that uh, mature and sophisticated okay we got a regular shotgun out of a brown chest that dropped from a room and I believe that's because it's been a while since we've gotten damaged despite the amount of damage we took it's been several rooms since we've taken any more. So I'm... I'm not as uh, worried about this run as I was initially. I thought like, oh man, I'm doing so bad that's going to continue. And now it looks like I'm doing pretty well. And I got great weapons to keep it going with, so... No longer even considering the quick restart. If I... If before the boss fight I got down to less than... I guess less health than what I have now, minus the armor. So if I lose this armor and don't pick up any more health, uh, I take it back. I'm just going to stick with it. If I get down to like half a heart though, that's obviously when I'll just quit. Quick restart or just let myself die. It takes a little bit of time because of the uh, clock animation at the end to let myself die, so I'd rather just quick restart instead. But sometimes, like once or twice when I've been going to hit the quick restart button, I briefly stop playing and then I get, um, it, I'm not doing well. I don't, I don't want to restart. I want to do this, but I've been having a little bit of trouble with bosses lately and I just, I wouldn't feel confident going in with less than, maybe not less than full health, but like less than two hearts. And that's what I'm at right now. But we got more rooms to explore and decent odds of getting back up to a higher amount of health. I'm not going to buy any. That would be not a great move. But we could get the lowercase r. It's a pretty decent gun, I think. It shoots, like, it shoots the word letters out. This looks like it's going to cycle back to where we started. Absolutely. Okay. One of them taken out with an explosion. The other one taken out with the actual shotgun itself. I hope I haven't missed out on any secret rooms that have been exposed. The Vulcan, whatever it's called, might have exposed some secret rooms for us with just the crazy amount of bullets it puts out. If it did, I didn't see that. So my apologies if there is a crack in a wall that I've gotten past. Um, If we do find a secret room, that would obviously boost my confidence here back to where it was like three rooms ago hopefully it would have some health in it or some armor even keys would be helpful we haven't found our second item room yet surprisingly this floor seems gigantic dark knight no problem there if he had gotten another round off i don't think i was in a good position to dodge it which was a dumb move it's just a brown chest even if we did get another key i don't know if we'd use it to open that up our boss fight must be up in this direction it might be immediately up in that direction, or there might be another room full of enemies to fight. It's hard to tell, but I'm guessing that this room is pretty much, a, yeah, the full size it would reach. Did I say room or did I say floor? I meant to say floor. Okay, I don't think there's much else we could do except go into this boss fight with our Vulcan cannon. I thought it said cannon. I thought it was cannon when I was confused, but then I was like, it's not really a cannon though. It's cannons shoot big explosive projectiles, or maybe not, maybe not explosive, but large projectiles not small lightly damaging projectiles bullet king we can do it we can take him out he's not the gatling goal which is what we have the most problem with okay i did intentionally hit the guy in the back because i want to take him out early when we have a gun that's not super accurate i i've explained this before but when our gun's not super accurate we want to take out that guy so we don't accidentally hit him and then get hit when we're not ready for it. We're doing a good job. 
Okay, I don't want to get hit at all for health reasons, but also because I still don't know what the flawless victory gives us. Gonna go ahead and do that. He's almost dead. We're getting really close to this flawless victory here. I gotta keep using blanks just to ensure it, and I did it! I don't know if the flawless victory requires not getting hit at all for the floor. It doesn't look like it does. That looks pretty cool. I don't know what it is, but we got two items. Gonna pick them up, of course. Starting with the, the one that looks like a special reward. It says, I, and it is the master round, first chamber. Nice. And we'll look at what that does in a second. Gungeon Ant, one army. We've had this before. I'll, I'll take a quick look at it. Hey, the Shield of the Maiden has joined the shootout. I don't know why we unlocked this. Okay. That might have been from the... Uh, I got a achievement in the last episode, I believe, for something to do with uh, Mimics. And it turns out that that one, I looked at it, the achievement itself, and it, it's for not opening a Mimic and just shooting it instead, recognizing that it is a breathing chest. All right, let's take a look at this passive item here. I noticed it gave us a heart container. This rare artifact indicates mastery of the first chamber. Apocryphal text recovered from cultists of the order indicate that the gun and the bullet are linked somehow. Cool. I don't know. I, I, I'm assuming it's just a art. I wonder, I wonder if this is our power source for the elevator it doesn't i bet it's i don't know I, I i don't think it is because because it's it's just a bullet how would that if the gun in the 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 elevator is a bullet i'm gonna talk to that guy i'm gonna see maybe it is a rare thing in the first chamber but it doesn't i don't know i was expecting like a glowing orb of electricity which could be naive of me. I didn't mean to shoot there. I'm going to switch to my rogue special in case I do that again. All right. Yeah, we're going to jump down and talk to the elevator guy. See if this is what he wants. I wonder if it'll take our heart away. I guess we'll give it to him anyway. Obviously, the permanent uh, progression is better than the single heart container for a single run. Whoa, that. Yeah. Hey, look. That uh, master round is exactly what I need to power this elevator. Can I have it? Here you go. Thank you. It looks like it did take our health away. Wow, thank you. This must have been hard to get. I, I'll go install it. That's everything. Hey, achievement unlock going down. Meet me in the breach when you're done here. Yeah, we lost our heart. That's fine. We have our... We've unlocked an achievement. We have our shortcut unlocked. Don't know if we'll ever even use it. We'll use it once, obviously, but after that, I don't know. I like... Look, look at... All these weapons we have. We have a Gungeon Ant. We have the Re the the Vulcan Cannon. I'm going to use the Gungeon Ant for now. Just to remember how it works and stuff like that. Our Merchant is the first thing we found. Do we want an Ice Bomb? Not really. I should have used the lockpick on that brown chest on the first floor. Since I didn't care if I opened it either way and didn't have a key to begin with, it would have made sense to, to use the lockpick. There's poison on the ground there. Gotta be careful. It looks like that is what our Gungeon Ant does. Whoa! Whoa! We lost some damage because we caught fire. Stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll, right? Okay, it resets the fire thing when we stop, drop, and roll. I didn't realize that I was still on fire. That's a, a mechanic I was unaware of, I gotta be honest. I don't think I've ever fully caught on fire before. So we gotta keep rolling. We got some armor back, so that's nice. Keep rolling until we're no longer getting that fire counter up we did come we did clear the room it looks like it tells us what kind of shots we have i don't know what this one is but the clip indicates what we'll get this must just be poison i took damage again from an explosion it looks like i'm not doing a great job i'm gonna switch off of the gungeon ant because it seems like a pretty dangerous gun to use back to our vulcan cannon i'm sure we'll get some ammunition before the end of the floor it worked great on the boss got us our first flawless victory a little bit thanks to my nice dodging and the fact that I've gotten a lot better at fighting the Bullet King. Whoa. Okay. Oh, no. Got to get back into that nice dodging I was doing on the, against the Bullet King. And my least favorite enemy in the game, of course, in a room where I've already taken damage, but the Vulcan Cannon just tearing right through it. 
I'm really happy with the way this is going. Aside from the damage I'm taking, but I think I can quit that now that I've stopped using the Gungeon Ant. If something allows us to sacrifice a gun, I will sacrifice the Gungeon Ant, not because I don't think it's good, but because I do think it's dangerous. I'm get I got hit twice against just regular old bullet kin. Not proud of that. And I'm gonna run out of ammo in this gun soon, too. I don't think this, this run is gonna go very much further than it already has. Another Lead Maiden. Not good for me. But I... I think I'm actually having a better time dodging these shots than just regular old bulletkin shots. And that's that's a little embarrassing. And then I got hit by the box. One more hit and I will die, but I made it through this room as long as I don't somehow accidentally walk into that uh, saw there. And a cell key, which means I can make more permanent progress as long as I survive. Which motivates me a little bit more to survive. Gotta switch off of this gun. Regular shotgun will do it for me. Okay, don't get hit. Please, please don't get hit. Yeah. I want to unlock the cell because it, you know, populates my breach a little bit, gives me more uh, random encounters throughout the gungeon. Yeah, I want to do it because of the things that it does. That's basically what I'm saying here. That first really nice chest was super helpful. <laughs> I accidentally switched to the um, the, the, the Vulcan Cannon and sent off one shot with it and then ended up hitting the enemy just by pure luck. Switch into the Gungeon Ant because I'm shooting someone far away. Got a free key. Got to be careful here. It, this These aren't difficult jumps to make, but if I like just do completely mess up that would be bad green chest worth it we got a elder blank excommunicate bullets that's a active item i don't think i ever actually used it the last time we uh found it and our key to our cell obviously going to use it and oh a young knave has rescued us from our confinement how unexpected and amusing Good show, young slinger. We are certain that we shall see thee soon. Cometh along, manservantes. Manservantes. He's, you know, the king's manservant. This is a king, based on his crown. Manservantes won't talk to us. I like that name, though. It's funny. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter which way we go. We've probably made all the permanent progress that we will make. Let's just remember to use this thing and learn what it does whoa that was like an extreme blank I wonder if it turned all of our if it turned every bullet currently on screen into an additional blank damage wise got hit dodged in the wrong direction I was running away and then I realized I should dodge all over the shots but didn't manage to turn around before I right clicked I died there we are going to return to the breach uh, I don't want to cut this episode this short, so I'm going to see if the king guy is here somewhere. I'm going to take the, I'm going to take the shortcut. Yeah. Okay. But first I'm going to see if the king guy ended up in the breach or if he's another gungeon encounter. He is in the breach. Let's talk to him. See what he does. Young slinger within this wall of flesh. There is a soul that counts the, it's creditor once rested. We will, we wilt explore the dun, the gungeon anew, findeth us, and we may findeth our interests entwined. Now let us rest. And he still doesn't talk to us. Okay, so we can encounter him in the gungeon, but he does occupy the breach. Not everybody that we can encounter in the gungeon will occupy the breach. This guy does, he's the target shooting guy. But like, that weird snakish person I think she was? Doesn't really do it. Doesn't come up here. Whoa. What just happened? Next stop, chamber two, the gungeon. Okay. This is how we would switch between where we want to go once we unlock more. But right now we only have chamber two unlocked. So that's the shortcut we'll take. I think this is a great opportunity to use this shortcut. We may never do it again. We may do it on occasion. But I guess when we die early, in a, like time-wise, not 
We'll, we'll come back up to the breach and take the shortcut. Okay. See, this is why I don't like the idea of the shortcut. Because we can encounter a lead maiden as our very first enemy of the run. I'm getting better at dodging him, I gotta admit. And only have the rogue special with which to take care of him. Just a little bit more to dodge. Okay, yeah. Maybe lead maidens aren't as bad as I thought. Maybe I'm getting better at killing them. Yeah, I think we're gonna have a hard time actually competing in a run with which we started with a shortcut because we're we're under armed, you know? At this point in the last game we had a Gungeon Ant, we had a Vulcan Cannon, we had a regular shotgun. We were really stacked. We might have had something else as well if I'd remembered to use the lockpick on that brown chest. Another Lead Maiden. They just have too much health is my problem with them. And it's it's the invulnerability that, that bugs me the most. The fact that they do have a lot of health and have a state of invulnerability. But the shots are... I'm getting better at dodging them. So I'm not, I'm not too peeved about this anymore. I, I'm no longer going to say that finding a Lead Maiden means guaranteed damage on the floor. So, no longer guaranteed damage on the second floor at all, though I did take some there. That's fine. That one took a long time to take out. Okay, I want to take out these bullet kins so I don't have to worry about them shooting me from behind while I'm trying to avoid taking damage from the Dark Knight that I saw walk up to the top of the screen there. He's gonna shoot before he gets around the corner? No, no luck there. Oh, that was cool. The origin point from which his bullets spread was so close to that wall that they didn't get a chance to actually fling out in all directions like they do. And they just kind of hit this top corner here. He seemed to die pretty fast. Maybe our starter gun kind of gets a boost every floor or gets a boost if we take the shortcut. I don't know. As always, this altar is empty. Still no idea how to do this. This is something I might look up on the wiki. I've taken like one look at the wiki to figure out, I think something about secret rooms that was confusing me. I don't remember what I looked up on the wiki, but it wasn't like anything super important or spoilery, so that's nice. Ooh, I managed to avoid falling into that hole, which while nice, did result in me getting hit anyway. See, lead maidens are tough. They're, I'm getting better at fighting them, but they are still super tough. Do the bullets not disappear when they hit me? If they're stationary? I'm down to one hit left. Looks like this is going to be the end of our run. Looks like it, if it is, that means it's the end of our video as well. And there we go. Unfortunate, but that's the way it goes. Look, I, I, I'm going to stand by my initial assumption that taking the shortcut is a bad idea so we're going to return to the breach here but that is all for now so thank you for tuning in if you enjoyed this video please click the like button if you want to see more please subscribe it helps the channel out a great deal and i'll see you in the next episode